hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to crochet this very cute little dinosaur so get your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head and we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so one two three four five and six and then I'll pull the yarn to close the gap and I'll place my marker over here so now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to increase and increase the next stitch and we'll continue increasing all the way until we get here Okay, so now for the next two rows, which is row three and row four, we're going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 12 stitches in each round. So you continue and do single crochet. And do single crochets all the way to the end in this row and the next row and then we'll do the fifth round together okay so after the fourth round this is how it looks like okay so now in the fifth round we are going to start by increasing in the next three stitches so we'll increase in the first stitch and increase in the next stitch and increase also in the third stitch okay and then after that we'll do single crochets all the way to the end so we'll have a total of 15 stitches Okay, so now after that now in the next two rows which is row six and row seven we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 15 stitches in each round okay so continue and do single crochets all the way around until the end and also in the next round which is the seventh round and then we'll start the eighth round together okay so after the seventh round this is how our head looks like so now in the eighth round we're going to start by doing six single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then after that we'll do single crochet then decrease all the way to the end so we'll do that three times for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet and decrease and repeat single crochet decrease and one more time 
single crochet and decrease okay so now we have a total of 12 stitches okay so now in the ninth row we are going to do single crochet then decrease and we we'll repeat all the way around four times for a total of eight stitches okay so we'll do single crochet and decrease and repeat single crochet and decrease and you continue repeating that all the way round okay so now uh, make sure you stuff your head before we continue because the next row is the last row of the head okay so after you stuff now in the 10th row which is the last row we are going to do single crochet and then decrease and then we'll repeat that again single crochet and decrease like that okay and then i'll do the other one single crochet just remove my marker and then i'll slip stitch in the next stitch and then i'll cut off the yarn and then i'll do the finishing so i'm just going to pull my yarn like that okay and then later we are going to cut off this yarn and finish off okay so now we are going to make the neck okay so for the neck we are going to start with the magic ring and then we'll do seven single crochets into the magic ring so one two three four five six and seven okay and then pull the yarn to close the gap And I'll place my marker over here okay so now in the second row we are going to do single crochets all the way around but in the back loops only so we usually have a uh, two loops so we have the front and the back so I'm just going to go into the back loop and do single crochet and then the back loop of the next stitch single crochet and i'll continue doing single crochet in the back loop all the way until i get to the end like that okay so now after that now from the next uh, row which is the third row until the seventh row okay we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of seven stitches in each round so we'll do in the third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so for the next five rows do single crochets all the way around and then we'll finish up together Okay, so now after we get to the seventh row this is how your neck should look like so uh, after the seventh row I'm just going to remove my marker and then slip stitch in the last stitch and I'll cut off the yarn 
long enough for sewing okay and then after that make sure uh, you stuff your neck before we attach to the head okay so now we'll start making the body Okay, so for the body we are going to start with the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring so one two three four five and six and then I'll pull the yarn to close the gap and place my marker over here so now in the second row we are going to increase each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so I'm going to increase and increase the next stitch and continue increasing all the way round Okay, so now in the third round we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet and increase And continue repeating that all the way round okay so now after we are done with that now for the next seven rows which is from row 4 until row 10 we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the 10th row so that we start the next row together. Okay, so after the 10th row, this is how your body should look like. Okay, so now in the 11th row, we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat that all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet and decrease and repeat single crochet decrease okay and we'll continue repeating that all the way round okay so guys after you're done with that make sure you stuff the body fully because the next row is the last row okay so now in our 12th row we are going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches okay so we'll decrease and we'll continue decreasing all the way around until we get to the end
okay so after we get to the end i'm going to remove my marker slip stitch and cut off the yarn like that and then i'm going to finish up Okay, and then after that we are going to make the tail okay so for the tail we are going to start by doing four single crochets into the magic ring so one two three and four Okay, so now in the second row we are also going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of four stitches okay so we'll go into the next stitch and do single crochet And do single crochet all the way to the end Okay, so now in the third round we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat twice uh, for a total of six stitches so we'll do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch And then we'll repeat single crochet and increase okay so now in the fourth round we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase and we'll do that two times for a total of eight stitches so we'll do single crochet one then single crochet two and increase in the next stitch And repeat that again so two single crochets and increase okay so after we are done with that now in the fifth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of eight stitches okay so you continue and do single crochet single crochet and you continue doing single crochets all the way round Okay, so now in the sixth round we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat that again for a total of 10 stitches. 
stitches so we'll do a single crochet one two three and then increase and repeat that again so three single crochets and increase okay so now in the seventh round we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 10 stitches so you continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end Okay, so now in the eighth round, which is the last row of the tail, we are going to do single crochet in the next four stitches, then increase, and we are going to repeat that twice. Okay, so single crochet one, two, three, four and increase and then repeat that again so four single crochets and increase Okay, so after that I'll remove my marker and slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay and then after that you're going to stuff the tail and then we are going to make the legs so for the legs you're going to make four and they are quite easy so we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so one two three four five and six Okay, now in the second row, which is the last row of the leg, we are going to do single crochets all the way around, but in the back loops only. So we are going to go into the back loop of the next stitch, do a single crochet, and back loop of the next stitch, do a single crochet, and we'll continue like that until we get to the end. Okay, and then after that, I'll remove my marker, go to the next stitch, and slip stitch, and cut off the yarn, long enough for sewing. Okay, so that's one leg, and then you're going to make the other three same way as we did with this one. Okay, so now we are going to attach all the parts together. Okay. So now before we attach all the parts together, make sure you have all these parts. So this is the head, the neck, the body and the tail and then the four legs. Okay, so it's quite easy to attach all you attach the neck to the head and then the body um, here at the neck and the tail at the back and then the little legs and then I'm going to embroider the eyes. Okay, so guys as you can see I've already finished attaching the parts together so what you do first is you attach uh, the body to the tail 
and the tail you attach it at the very back as you can see and use a uh, yarn and the needle to sew all along uh, the same line make sure the rows are adjacent to each other so that you don't notice if they are sewn uh, together and make sure you stuff the tail first and then also for the head I attached it um, for the neck I mean I attached it where it's slanted like this but make sure you attach the neck to the head first as you can see this is how it looked like okay so also you can use a fabric glue if you have one and for the legs also I attach them um, if the neck is supposed to be in the middle like this and then the legs to the side so you count one two three and in the fourth row that's where you attach the these are uh, the front legs and the other one and then the other leg you attach one two from the front leg you, you count one two in the third row you attach the other leg okay so this is how it looks like and then i embroidered the little eyes using a black yarn Okay, so if you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below and please check out my other videos. Until next time, bye.